Hello, and welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be making black salt together, and I'm going to be talking about some of its common uses. If you're new here, I'm Betty, and I'm the witch from the north. So as I said, we're going to be making black salt together. What you'll need is a fire-safe dish, ashes and or charcoal, herbs, salt, a funnel, and a sealable container. I've picked out some specific herbs for this particular recipe. However, you can change the herbs to suit your needs. Honestly, I love black salt and I believe that it is extremely underrated and you'll learn why throughout this video. So as you see here, I've begun with a fire safe dish and ashes from a previous spell. I'm burning a charcoal briquette and as you'll see in just a moment, I'm going to be putting herbs on that briquette to burn. So the first herb I'm adding to my fire safe dish is lemongrass. And for this specific recipe, I'm using lemongrass for clearing, cleansing, and protection. However, lemongrass has many different uses, so just keep that in mind when you're researching correspondence for the herbs that you'd like to use. I'd love to know in the comments if you use black salt in your practice, and if so, what are some of the things that you utilize it for? So the next herb, as you can see, I'm adding to my fire safe dish is lavender. And I'm adding lavender specifically for purification, peace, and protection. Black salt has been something that I have utilized in my practice for quite some time now. And it's because of how versatile it is, but also how simple it is to make. As I stated previously, black salt is traditionally used in protective magic. It's used for things like warding off negative or potentially malicious energies. Utilizing black salt in your practice could be as simple as sprinkling it at the threshold of your door or windowsill, or going around the perimeter of your house to protect you, your family, and your belongings within your home. The next herb I'm adding to my fire safe dish for this specific recipe, as you can see here, is chamomile. And I'm using chamomile for cleansing, purification, and protection. However, chamomile also has properties in prosperity. And so because of that, I've chosen it to add protection to financial elements in my life. You'll notice that many of the herbs I add to my recipe have different energetic properties, and that is intentional because as I said, I use black salt for a multitude of things in my practice. Next, I'm adding peppercorns, and I am charging my peppercorns for banishing, for clarity, for strength, and for protection. As you'll notice, these peppercorns are whole, so I do have to grind them before adding them to my fire safe dish. It just makes it easier for them to burn on the briquette. And if you are using whole peppercorns, I do recommend this step. If you want to create your own black salt and you want to just skip using the herbs and simply stick with using salt, ash and or charcoal and your peppercorns, then I highly encourage you to do so. I would just say that if you are going to skip all of the herbs, make sure you add the peppercorns because they do add that strength and banishing element on top of your protection. And so last but not least, I am adding my rose. Aside from the salt, this is the last thing that I'm going to be adding. And I'm using rose, of course, for cleansing and purification and protection, as well as that added component of protection with prosperity, uh, as I did with the chamomile. And so this step is certainly optional, but this is something that I like to do. While the herbs are burning on the briquette, I will take this around my home and cleanse and do my protection of my home with those herbs I'm burning. So you wanna make sure that your herbs and your briquette have burned all the way down if you're using a briquette. Personally, I like to leave a small chunk of the briquette left so that I can grind it into the herbs and it just creates that darker color so that when I add my salt, um, it's 
a darker salt color versus a grayish color. Now, my salt still tends to turn out gray because I don't add the powdered charcoal like some people do to give it that blackened color, but I'm okay with my recipe. I like how it works for me and how it turned out, and that's really all that matters. So again, that is an optional choice of adding a powdered charcoal after you've mixed your salt and your herbs and everything together. In terms of specific measurements, I didn't weigh anything out. The only thing I measured was my salt, and that was just according to the size of the container that I was using to store my salt. However, I would like to make one note. Some people say that it is best to use sea salt or kosher salt as it is a purer form of salt. And while I agree that is true, if all you have on hand is table salt, please do not stress, just use your table salt. It's going to be fine. So after you have everything thoroughly mixed, the last step is to funnel your black salt into your container. So here I've used a smaller sized glass jar that I previously cleansed prior to storing my black salt. However, you can use whatever container is suitable for you. And that is it. Once you funnel your black salt into your jar, it is ready to be used. And as I said, black salt is traditionally used in protective magic, but in some folk practices, it is also utilized for hexing, cursing, and binding. Some examples you can use black salt for protection would be creating a protection satchel to carry on you, put it in your car, put it at your desk if you work at a desk. You can dress your candles with it for protection or banishing. You can put it on under or near your bed to protect you while you sleep and while you're in the astral realm. If you use black salt in your practice, I want to know what your favorite way to use it is, so be sure to comment below. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you being here. If you liked the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell to be notified. Until next time, bye!